Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of Luya 101 with Nakimo. And together let's uncover the beauty that is in the Luya language and culture. Thank you so much to those who have already subscribed to our channel and those who are yet to do so. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you do not have to miss any episode. Also remember to like our videos and share with your friends. And for uh, in case you missed the previous episode, uh, please remember to click on the link in the description below and watch it. Also in the description is a link to all other previous episodes. You can also click and watch it. My name is Nakimo and I'm your teacher and host. In previous episodes, we've covered the basics of the Luya language. And in this particular episode, we are taking things a notch higher and introducing you to more advanced vocabularies, idioms, and proverbs that you can be able to use to enhance your everyday conversations in Luya. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to recognize and use these advanced features in your everyday conversations. Let's go straight to the advanced vocabulary section of this uh, episode and uh, I'll go straight to the examples. The first example is Olu Olubuto. Olubuto is a place where people gather to sit, chat, or pass time. Olubuto is a place where people gather to sit, chat, or pass time. And the act of sitting and uh, chatting and passing time is called ohubuta. Ohubuta is the art, the art of sitting and passing time uh, or uh, chatting. Okay, another example is omubei. Omubei is a liar or a gossip. Omubei is a liar or a gossip. Another example is omunguri. Omunguri is one who spreads rumors or gossip. Omunguri is one who spreads rumors or gossip. Another example is Ohumonya. Ohumonya or Ohuiharira or Ohutonya Amahua. Ohumonya, Ohuiharira or Ohutonya Amahua, which means uh, to talk behind someone's back, say unpleasant things about someone secretly or gossip unkindly. That is, uh, that is the meaning of uh, those three words. That is ohumonya, ohuiharira, or ohutonya amahua. Another example is inzikura. Inzikura is a, a time of plenty of food. That time where there is plenty of food, we call it inzikura. Another example is uh, mafisui, mafisui or ma masirisi. Mafisui or masirisi is means privately or secretly. Privately or secretly. That is mafisui or masirisi. Masirisi, I'm also learning this today, so don't worry about that. Uh, another example is omutinyu. Omutinyu is a, is a is hard or stubborn. So if someone is is stubborn or hard, you can say that person is omutinyu. Omutinyu, okay. Another example is ohu ohu tsarisia. Ohutsarisia or Ohutsuba. Ohutsarisia or Ohutsuba. And that is to encourage. Another example is Omukoko. Omukoko has two meanings. The first meaning of Omukoko is a log of wood or a banana tree. Omukoko is a log of wood or a log of wood or a banana tree. Another meaning of omukoko is a girl considered to be a, as a bride or potential bride and the relationship of a girl, it's, it could also be the relationship of a girl to the clan of her father. The relationship of a girl to the clan of her father. Another vocabulary is inono. Inono is the name used to, indi uh, to indicate the clan 
uh, to which a woman or a girl belongs by birth in Ono. Uh, I can give you an example, Nakimo. Nakimo is, is my Inono. I come from the Abachimo sub clan. So all girls from that clan are called Nakimo. So that is where my name Nakimo came from. Those are just few examples of advanced vocabulary. You'll continue learning as we continue. In case you have any questions, uh, please let's meet in the comment section and uh, discuss more about this. Next, uh, let's move to idiomatic expressions which are called minae or munae in Luya. Uh, and these are expressions that are unique to, to Luya and can add uh, depth and richness to your conversations. Idiomatic expressions or phrases have a figurative meaning of the words used, okay? They are often specific to a particular language or culture, and in this case, in the, it's specific to Luya, and can be difficult for non-native speakers to understand because the meaning of the phrases is not uh, immediately clear from the individual words that have been used. For example, an example of, of an English idiom uh, that will help you to understand this uh, is uh, kick the bucket. Kick the bucket is an English idiom which means to die and it has got nothing to do with kicking the bucket. Now uh, I'll go straight to give you the uh, Luya examples of idioms. Examples of Luya idioms which are, which are called Minai when there are many or if it's one it's called Munai. Okay? Uh, so uh, what Luya say before you start uh, giving the idioms. Normally, maybe you'll be in a sitting where some people are seated, then there is one who is uh, giving the minai so that someone can respond. You can be two people or more. I remember when we were growing up, we used to sit as cousins. So one, one person gives the idiom, then others would answer. Then you are told if it's correct or not. If not, you are given Others will keep trying until you get it. In case you don't, uh, the person who is uh, show, giving you the minai will give you now the correct answer. There are various, min there are various uh, idioms that are mainly others are, giving are, are, are given to enhance the morals, while others are just supposed to, uh, to help you to be critical thinkers. I'll start with those that are used to enhance good morals in the society. Uh, I have examples. Before you say that, the person who is presenting usually says, Munai, then the other, the people on the other receiving end will say, Kwitze. So you say, Munai, Kwitze, then uh, you go ahead to, to give them. So uh, since we are not, uh, I don't have someone to respond, I'll not be saying the Munai Kwitze because it will not make sense. I just want you to know that before you say, you're supposed to say Munai, then the other people will respond Kwitze, then you, you bring it to them, okay? So I'll just go straight to the various idioms in Luya, uh, the, the examples that I have here. The first example is Nanda uh, Urira. Nanda Urira is the, is the, the idiom, then uh, the answer from the other side will be uh, Yatsyanako Ebukwe. Nanda Urira, Yatsyanako Ebukwe. Uh, this idiom, uh, it means you are, you are supposed to listen to advice. Actually, if I directly translate that, I, I can tell you it means someone who does not listen to instructions, uh, does not listen to advice, uh, when uh, maybe she got married, she, she went with the same uh, bad habits to the in-laws. And of course, you know what happened after that. So you are just being encouraged to, uh, to always listen to advice. That is the moral of, of that uh, idiom. Uh, another idiom, another lawyer idiom is uh, The answer is... Uh, Sinzehe mulukoe. Tsiakoyana, sinzehe mulukoe. Directly translated, tsiakoyana means uh, it's disorganized. 
disorganized. Uh, what is disorganized? The answer was since the hemolo molecule. Those are just uh, those straws. Uh, in the olden days, the lawyers used to brew their uh, their local brew, and they would gather together and uh, take the using some long straws that were all. You, there is a group of people in a circle. Then there is a small pot at the center. They put the they put the straws in the same pot. So of course they'll now get mixed up in that pot. Now that is what is it all means uh, when you take it literally. But now the the meaning of that was uh, was supposed to just to encourage people not to get confused with so many so many ideas of course people will always give you so many ideas but at the, at the end of the day it is upon you to make your own decision so let not all those ideas confuse you another idiom is okendakala okendakala then the answer is yola obunyolo okendakala yola obunyolo if i directly translate that is like someone who walked slowly reached uh, the Luo land. During those days, Luo land was believed to be very far. So uh, if someone was able to walk uh, slowly, but still reach uh, Luo land, uh, the, in, in other words, the meaning of this idiom was, was that you can be slow but sure. When you are slow, you can reach far. When you are slow, you can reach far. In, uh, I can say that uh, Hari Hari has no blessing. That is a, the best way to, to explain this idiom uh, to you. Another example of an idiom to enhance morals is Wahu di Mbisia Kwa Murinda Mwene. Wahu di Mbisia Kwa Murinda Mwene. This idiom, yani as, as long as you continue... As much as you continue buying time, whatever, your duties will still wait for you. So this idiom uh, is supposed to tell others that you should not delay your responsibilities. With, as much as you delay them, they are still your responsibilities and you will still have to deal with them. So there is no need in delaying. So you should be able to tackle uh, whatever duties that you are supposed to tackle now. Okay? The last example of an idiom in this category to enhance morals is a etsiri ingereha. Then the answer is eyao ivemo. Etsiri ingereha eyao ivemo. This was given in this context. In the olden days, they they used to go to herd a, a cattle very far. So uh, in case you are, they are referring to those cattle, uh, someone is telling you, uh, among those cattle that are there herding, ensure that yours is among them. So in short, uh, you should always, uh, as, as much as you can encourage others and uh, glorify them for their success, ensure that you also work hard and ensure that you also succeed. So uh, you should also work hard for for you so that you you also have something to call your own we also have idioms that were given to be able to to enhance critical thinking uh, these are idioms to enhance critical thinking examples are the first one is uh, someone will ask you inyumba yanje ibula muryango inyumba yanje ibula muryango then uh, the answer to this will be leave you so if I was to translate that, it, it means uh, someone will tell you something, a situation, then you are supposed to, to say the answer. Like in this case, uh, means my house does not have a door. So you'll be there thinking, what is this that uh, could not maybe have a door? And the, the answer to this is an egg. When you think of it, an egg does not have any opening. So uh, that's the answer to that. Another example is siahulia shongo sio mwana. Then the answer is sindolo. This is uh, this is uh, when directly translated means the main meal of a baby. Now that is the the question. Then the answer to this idiom is sleep. 
you get it the, the main meal of a baby was believed to be sleep because babies sleep so much and that's it another the third example is ngorwa warula nende wasia the answer to this is muyaka ngorwa warula nende wasia yani in uh, in other words uh, in uh, english it's I don't know where he or she is coming from and I don't know where he or she is going. So you are supposed to give an answer to that. That is, uh, the answer is wind. Wind, of course, you don't know. You cannot tell that this wind is coming from here or going where. And that is the answer. Another idiom is Mwitsa wanje alinende sirenje silala. The answer is Oluova. Uh, Omwitsa wanje alinende shirenje shilala. The answer is oluova. In English that is uh, my friend has only one leg. My friend has only one leg. And the, the answer is mushroom. A mushroom stands on only one. I hope you get that. Uh, the another example is anondanga buryabundu wanzia. Anondanga buryabundu wanzia. Uh, uh, the, the answer to this is Sineha Sianji Sineha Sianji In English that is He or she follows me everywhere I go He or she follows me everywhere I go And that uh, the answer to that is My shadow Okay uh, Another example is Bukana nende kuhu Ni elala Bukana nende kuhu ni elala The answer to this is Risa in English, this is, I met my grandmother walking faster. And the answer to this is uh, caterpillar. Of course, a grandmother is, expect, is not expected. As much as you say faster, of course, you know a grandmother can walk, not walk very fast. And uh, in this case, you can uh, equate it to a, a caterpillar. Uh, another example, the last one that I have here is a uh, Papa Fumbatilongi Hupane. Papa Fumbatilongi Hupane. And the answer is uh, Tsingwesi. Tsingwesi. In English, uh, directly translated is Dad, fold your trousers so that we can fight. Dad, fold your trousers so that we can fight. And the answer is black Blackjack. You know those Blackjack when you walk around, they'll definitely stick on your trousers so uh, when you fold them that will not be able to happen so papa fumbatilongi hopan tsingwes okay and lastly we move on to proverbs and this in lui are called oluchere or tsingero oluchere or tsingero proverbs are uh, short sayings uh, that offer wisdom and advice about life uh, in Luya, we have many proverbs that have been passed down through generations. Here are examples of Luya proverbs that uh, can help you to understand and learn more. Uh, the first example is Omurumwa Sahu Yuangwa Olukuma Tawe. Omurumwa Sahu Yuangwa Olukuma Tawe. Uh, the meaning of this, uh, you are, it, it's, suppo it's teaching that you should be not harm anybody who has been sent to deliver a message whether the message is good or bad okay uh, in the olden days messages were we used to have messengers who are usually sent with messages so uh, it's not like today we have phones and what you can use other means of communication in those days they used to to use messengers so they were just uh, there was this saying to be able uh, this uh, proverb that would help people not to to harm the messengers because uh, the messengers are innocent. So you cannot harm the person who brought the message because they are innocent. Omurumwa sahu yuangwa olukuma tawe. Okay? Omurumwa sahu yuangwa olukuma tawe. Do not harm anybody who has been sent to deliver a message uh, because that person is innocent. Whether the message is bad or not harm them. Another example of a lawyer proverb we have Omurengu anietanga amafui amom. Omurengu anietanga amafui amom. This is very funny. 
Omrengu anyetanga amafu ahmom. If I was to translate that directly, I'd say that uh, this person who does not uh, want to be sent, when your parents send you and you refuse, when you go to the toilet, you'll, your poop will be very hard. T directly translated. But this, the meaning of this proverb is that uh, if you... If you do not want to be sent, or if your parents sent you and you refuse, you'll not get any reward. You'll not get any reward. And this was to encourage kids not to to always uh, accept to be sent because it was a good thing to do. Another example of a lawyer proverb is Olakalangambu Neimondo Neimondo Nehane Nengwe. Ola Kalangambu ne Neimondo Hane ne ingwe. Imondo is something that looks exactly like a, a cheetah. So you can think that someone something is this and it's not like you think. In short, in, in other words, you are just trying to teach you not to underrate others. Whatever you think it is, you can think something is this and it's exactly the opposite. So do not underrate others. Another example is Omwimbi uh, Kiri Yesi Akeranga Inungo. Omwimbi Kiri Yesi Akeranga Inungo. Omwimbi Kiri is a short person. Actually, this uh, proverb uh, directly says that a short person also, uh, there is this thing, I don't know how to call it in English. Uh, in those days, uh, in the Luya land, we used to have in the kitchen somewhere where firewood was kept. That is what we call inungo. So in the kitchen, the, they'd put firewood up there. So when you want to cook down here, you can just pick fire from up and cook. That is what inungo is. So this, uh, this proverbs is trying to say that even a short person can be able to make that, that place to put firewood. So in short, they are trying to say do not underrate short people because they can also do what tall people can do. Do not underrate short people because they can also do what tall people can do. Generally, I think you should not just underrate anyone because uh, in whatever capacity they are, they are capable of doing what, what other people are doing. Everybody, I can, uh, can use this popular saying that says uh, no human is limited. No human is limited. I think that will be able to explain it uh, very well. Another example is Onya Oweri Konzo Ola Onya Oenzala. Onya Oweri Konzo Ola Onya Oenzala. It's trying to say that uh, it's better you heal a person who has a wound uh, than giving food to the hungry. Better you heal someone with a wound than give food to the hungry. The meaning of this uh, is that uh, actually the people, when you heal someone who has a wound, you know when you have a wound, even if it heals, you'll keep seeing uh, the impact of that wound. And you'll remember, Nakimo is the one who helped me uh, to heal this. But if you give food to the hungry, the person will eat and will forget uh, immediately because they'll feel hungry again and eat. So if you just give food, they'll eat, go to the toilet, and that will be the end of it. So you are encouraged to do more impactful uh, things, things that will, will the value of it will, will, will be carried uh, over, over the years, okay? So uh, another example is, Omulambo kunyiranga veneku. Omulambo kunyiranga veneku. If I translate this, it 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 uh, it is. It can say uh, a corpse. Uh, this is if if you die, uh, if you die and uh, that that uh, smell from your body, the people will feel that smell of your relatives because they will be having your body there with them. That is directly translated, uh, but the meaning of uh, I, the meaning of this could be that uh, if you have bad habits, 
Uh, the people will feel the impact of this are the people that are close to you. They are the ones who will feel the impact of it. Uh, so uh, you should always be well behaved so that you do not hurt people who are close to you. Another example is Ayuhana Yaya Ameno. Ayuhana Yaya Ameno. Uh, th that person was uh, <laughs> eating very fast. When you eat very fast uh, and the food was hot, you're able to, to burn the, the teeth. So uh, in short, they're trying to tell you that patience pays. Patience pays. Another example of a lawyer proverb, we have Amahino Mavi Sikera of Witsatawi. Amahino Mavi Sikera of Witsatawi. This proverb uh, directly translated says, uh, bad dancing habits should not make a, should not kill a friendship. Bad dancing habits should not kill a friendship. But the meaning of it is, uh, uh, maybe if if someone has some habits, uh, so, some small things should not make you to kill the entire friendship. Of course, this person may have other good traits, so uh, you should not uh, focus so much. On that, on on the small bad things, should not make you to heal, to kill the entire friendship. Amahi no mavi sikera of wizatawe. Okay. Another example is Omulosi alokanga, Omulosi alokanga yenye ne yamanyeha mulukongo. Omulosi alokanga yenye ne yamanyeha mulukongo. So uh, a person who repeatedly uh, Omulosi is someone who goes to these uh, night runners. So uh, a person who night runs alone in the night, that person will definitely be known in the village. So uh, a person who repeatedly does bad things is always known by uh, by those actions in the in the village. So uh, you should just learn to behave well because people will know you by your habits. Okay. Uh, omukesi siebe kanga tawe. Omukesi siebe kanga tawe. Uh, in Swahili, you can say, explain this as muganga hajigangi. Muganga hajigangi. In English, I can say that uh, however bright you are, you cannot be able to solve all your problems by yourself. Uh, in in other words, you need other people. You need other people. You cannot be able to, to solve all your problems by yourself. Okay? Another example is... <coughs> sorry. Omwana ukenda ahirangina amakesi. Omwana ukenda ahirangina amakesi. It means... Uh, directly translated is uh, like... Uh, a child who is already walking... Uh, is more intelligent than the mother. <coughs> a child who is already walking is more intelligent than the mother. The meaning of this is not uh, directly as such. It means that uh, it is possible that uh, your own kids can be more intelligent than you. As we grow the through generations, there are many things that your kids will know that you do not know so in other words we can always share and be able to reason together uh, and grow together in whatever capacities another example is ofumbu uh, hamusimiu yesika zimbiro ofumbu hamusimiu yekisa yesika zimbiro uh, directly translated is someone who just decides to run in when it is dry it is when you run during the dry season you can be able to 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 run faster <coughs> so uh, uh when you are dedicated in doing something or achieving something you'll definitely do it uh that is the meaning of that and and the last the last uh, example of a proverb uh, that I'll, I have here is Ulola ngina molohana ulalola ngina molohana ari 
ari papa ya tupa tsingombe ulalo langina mulukhana ari papa ya tupa tsingombe directly translated is uh, this person who did not see the mother during her, 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 her days of the youth uh, can easily say that uh, my dad uh, my dad uh, wasted his dowry and this is maybe because as you age you'll not look as good as you looked before uh, so uh, someone you cannot judge and say because of the the, the way this old woman looked uh, what did uh, my dad wasted the dad? Ulalo langina mulohana ari papa ya tupa zingombe. That person you didn't see the mother during uh, her hey days will easily say that uh, dad wasted his dowry. So do not uh, judge pa someone by the situation or wherever they are at the moment. You do not know what happened before you do not know any don't be quick to judge in other that's it for our today's lesson we'll, we've been able to learn uh, advanced vocabularies idioms and proverbs in luya and this has been very helpful uh, in case you have any questions or reactions feel free to drop a comment in the comment section and also in case you have more examples of uh, idioms, uh, proverbs, uh, please let's chat in the comment section. In case you have not subscribed to our channel, please make an effort of doing so. And also remember to like our videos and share with your friends. See you in the next video. Thank you.